Ես ձարմավոտ գենք ունս ոպտիո է այի, այս արի ստարտապի ռոմելից միզանից հարոմ, թե ուսոպլիրոշի ադամիանել զտավեղմարոտ սակութարի պինասելիս ուկետ մարդոշի, սակութարի պուլի դուպրով մետի շետեգեպիս միղծ Ես արի դասացվիցիք իտե ատջորուպը տարվատեպուլի սակնոս մի դրետ զինյատ արվատեպուլի սակնոյպի։ Չու են միզնեմ տուս այրտաշորսով բազար սինտրով չու են իպրոդուկտիս ծիրի թատի բազարի արի ամերկի շերտով � Հանրաչ ենց առուծ այս ժիմուրի դեղորձ գազացխոյց իմիս մի խերտնեմիս մի աշանքաշի չու են պրոդուկցը մուշահոգտ, ուղի գեպտտու ծավագեպտ տա մի ուղավույթ չու են գետ։ change how people think about personal finance accounting. I'm introducing Optio AI, it's our startup, and with Optio AI, you get professional personal finance assistance in an easy, effective, and fun way. So because, before I go to the details, let me introduce our team. Our team has experienced more than 60 years cumulative experience. I am Shota, uh, with the experience more than 12 years in software engineering. I also have founded two companies in Georgia. One of them is Giga, my uh, co-founder and partner. He is banking guy with more than nine years experience in banking, and he is also in Georgia personal finance enthusiast, and he was participating in very popular uh, educational video series. Mr. Zura, he's rock star of AI in Georgia. He's number one here. And Sandro is one of the best data scientists you can find in our country. Now, I have an interesting fact for you. According to US Federal Reserve, 46% of mid-range Americans can't pay unexpected $400 expense without borrowing money. That sounds terrible, and that actually is terrible. So why that happens? Because it doesn't really matter how much you earn if you can't manage your money effectively. And unfortunately, people aren't really good in that. Yes, there are a lot of companies and <coughs> products which want to help people with that. But guess what? They are using past century approaches in the 21st, 21st century. They are giving you basic tooling for budgeting and accounting, and they are assuming that everyone, each customer has time, has experience, and has education to manage their money effectively. But that doesn't work in such a way, and we want to change that. Now, how we can change that? With technology and with knowledge. Imagine we take chatbots, power them, supercharge them with AI engine, and we get the best possible solution that can be uh, accessible by the cost customers. Actually, we are doing pretty same that robo-advisors are doing now with the investment market. And now imagine that, forget about that boring process of inputting a lot of data in the forms and going through the numbers. And imagine you have your very personal finance assistant with whom you can just chat like you can chat your, with your friend. You can ask for opinion, you can budget money with them, you can set goals, reach that goals, and rework that process over and over. And as the time goes and we get more and more data, our chatbot with AI engine gets more and more smart. So we turn that boring thing, which no one likes, into interactive and fun thing. Is there a market for that? Yes, for sure. Uh, personal finance management market and fintech market for now is really hot. In the next four years, it's expected that only personal finance management market will increase in about five times. So our business model uh, has three main revenue sources. First and main one is customer subscription. You can see the subscription model on the right side. And then gradually when we get the data, by the time we will add lead generation and data analysis. Do we have competitors? For sure, we have them. But good thing is that 
most well-known competitors are, are really on the territory with the old school solutions. So they are big, they are slow, and for now they are not giving us signs that they are going to change something. That's our competitive advantage, of course, with our team and our idea. So uh, we will, with the existing tooling, we will add assistance, real-time assistance, data analysis, and predictive analysis, and uh, decision-making to help people do more with their money. So how we are going to go to the market? First thing is that we are not creating a new application and forcing people to download application, get familiar with that, and learn how to use that. No, we are giving you the, this functionality in the well-known application environment like Facebook chat and Skype. So we are uh, getting more than to the billion customers. We can go to them and give the opportunity to use our uh, product. Now we have another thing. If you are already using our competitor's product, you can move to our product with your data and we will give you really, really good discount. So how we are going to get to our customers? Of course, we will use SEO optimization and ads and social marketing, but as I already mentioned, we are really good in learning process, so we will provide users with educational video and general blogging. And crowdfund campaign, not really for raising funds, but to uh, find our first evangelist customers. So th that's how our customer acquisition plan looks like. After uh, go live in 12 months, we are going to get uh, 47,000 active users. Our gross margin is about 92%. Customer acquisition cost is uh, 46 cents and LTV is $4.8. Uh, and with that in mind, we are going uh, to generate revenue after 12 months. N not 1 million, but like 1 million. <laughs> Pretty uh, <laughs> close to that. So where are we now, what we are doing? We are bootstrapping our startup. We are now working on the chatbot part. Uh, we are here in parallel, we are, and we are working on MVP. In parallel, we are working with Udl uh, to integrate their platform. We have negotiations with them already. After that, the main AI services will kick in. We will use existing services, but main magic will happen in our proprietary uh, software. And only after that we will provide the native mobile apps with the unique uh, functionality. Uh, we are looking now for $45,000 for our MVP, and then we are thinking that we will need $550,000 for next stage. Actually, that was everything I wanted to tell you. I'm, again, really happy to be here, and we are going to change how people think about personal finance management, and I'm sure and I will be happy if you will be with us. Thank you very much. Great job, great job. Uh, I, I work with a lot of banks who are looking at fintech startups, and you didn't mention any banking partnerships. Have you thought about that? Actually, yes, we are thinking about that, but in the beginning what we need is as much coverage as possible because it's not fun to give customers manual process. And yes. uh, in, in, in spite, uh, uh, instead of going to the, each bank and asking them for integration services, that's why we choose Udl, which is a very big platform which already provides single access point and you get the access to a lot of bank data simultaneously. So Thank you for a good pitch. That was really yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Management of personal files. Okay. Ah, okay. Yes. Sir. It's a boring, boring thing. Yeah, I, it is. I would never pay five dollars for any solution. How do you want to convince me? You won't pay uh, five dollars for what? Because I, our I, solution I don't believe or in the solution. Our Ge solution? Yeah. Or generally? Ah, generally. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure because yes, it is boring. And it's boring because it needs your time. It's boring, it doesn't work, everything yeah. I can manage. Why doesn't that work? Because it needs a lot of input from you. It needs a lot of effort, it needs a lot of time and decision making and so on and so on. And that means that you have to have a lot of experience and knowledge. And that problem we are trying to solve and telling people that you concentrate on your goals with your data and we will try to help in everything else. That's our main point. So the lead generation bit, I think, is the most important for you. Like that's yeah. the point he's lead making. Lead generation? The point, yeah, the point he's making, at least in America, the, the, the successful fintech platforms have been ones that don't 
uh, charge you because they're making money on credit card offers, auto loan offers, because they have all your data, right? Okay. So the, yeah. the trick yeah, sure. is, so I'm curious when you think about the role of, of lead generation, since Yodely is providing all the data, um, what are opportunities in the markets that you're, that you're focusing on for you to generate leads for banking partners? How are you thinking about yeah. that opportunity? Yeah, thanks. Uh, actually, we are <clears throat> thinking, and I'm sure everyone will think about that, that when you have product and when you have customers, you can use that product very well to reach the customers with a lot of products. How we are thinking about that? We are not going to just show them random products and say, oh, we have this product or that bank has that product. We want to use in that the customer's data. So based on the customer's needs, we will uh, show them targeted uh, uh, products and offers from our partners. How do you define the customer's need? How are you thinking about, is it something they've told you or uh, something that you're figuring out? Both, because look, uh, the data shows you uh, if customer uses uh, more debit cards or credit cards. Uh, and uh, if customer is overspending more all, all the time or underspending and analyzing the data, uh, so analyzing the data will be first input. And second input will be, we, we don't want to force someone to get some product. We just uh, want to offer them. And maybe it will be not forcing the user, but some kind of uh, conversation. And at the end of the conversation, we will tell them then, oh, we think that we have something good for you. That's maybe the one option for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. did, you, uh, did I answer your question? Yes. Thank you. I, I have just a question. In this market, um, trust is a very big thing. Yeah, sure. Uh, one, it's, well, first of all, people hate managing their money. It's like going to the <laughs> dentist, right? <laughs> yes, a very, like very, me. Is, yes, <laughs> people hate it. And so, one, you have to build trust. And, and uh, the question that Deborah asked, I mean, one good thing about going with banks is you get brands that people trust and you're associated with them. So mm -hmm. you said you weren't going that direction. So how do you plan to get people to input their private data and to trust the results? Ah, okay. Uh, actually, I, I didn't mean that we don't go to the banks. My answer in that uh, question was that technically for us now is better to go to the one platform technically to get data for as much customers as possible and not go to the banks. But after we have MVP and after we can show someone that here is a thing and that works really cool, then of course we have to go to particular banks and talk to them and offer some collaboration so they get something and we get something of course without that we won't survive okay. no one knows us for now and thank you okay. what markets were you targeting in the beginning what countries uh, in the beginning and in the end we're targeting US market right, because right. yeah because the uh, it's about as, as I remember it's about 1.4 billion uh, potential users along the, uh, around the globe uh -huh. for that. Okay. And guess what? 1.1 billion, uh, no, not potential users. It was the amount of money. Oh, yeah. So the most part of the users comes from the US. Okay. So it's the main uh, interesting market okay. for us. Any other question? Okay, very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Bye. I'll be honest. I am going to talk about the maximum maximum